We continue now at the top of Daf Yud Amar Aleph and Maseches Ksubis. This is Ksubis Daf Ten A. The Gemara says Itmar Amar Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel Mishum Rabbi Shimon Ben Elazar. It was said that Rav Nachman said in the name of Shmuel, in the name of Rabbi Shimon Ben Elazar, Chachamim Tiknu Lahem Levnos Yisrael LeBesula Masayim. The Chachamim instituted for the daughters of Israel that the Ksuba of a Besula of a virgin is going to be two hundred dinar. For the Almana Man and for the Almana for the widow, it's going going to be one hundred dinar. Vehem Ha'eminu and also they trusted the husband. Shem Amar Pesach Pasuach Matzasi Neman that if he says that I found that the door was open, meaning she's not a Basula, she's not entitled to the two hundred dinar, so then he is believed. Rashi over here says, Chacham and Tiknu Isha Kalamar Ihavoik Subasa Do Raisa. means to say as follows. If Ksuba would be Do Raisa, Lohavin Neman, Lahafkiya, Elabaidas Yudua, so then he wouldn't be believed to undo the Ksuba. You'd have to have real Aidas. Avul Ksubasa Chacham Tiknu. So the whole point of the statement over here in the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar is, is that the Ksuba was instituted by the Chachamim. Hey Mamru, Hey Mamru, so they instituted and they also said, Heim Shet Tiknu Amru, they who instituted said, Shehu Neman Lahafsida, that he is believed to make her lose out in that Ksuba. Even if it's just with a claim of Pesach Pasuach. That's the idea over here. And they trusted him that if he says Pesach Pasuach Matsasi, he is believed. And so the Gemara says, If so, and Rashi says, If it's possible for him to undo it. So, what did the Chacham even help with the Takon in the first place? Rashi says, What does it help to give her a Ksuba if he's able to undo it? And so the Gemara says it does help, and this is what we quoted previously. Amar Rava Rava says, Chazaka in Adam Toreach Besudim Afsida. There is a Chazaka, there's a presumption. A person's not going to go through all of the effort to make the meal for the wedding and then lose out on the whole thing. As Rashi over here says, Chazaka in Adam Toreach Besuda, ain Locha Shayit on Adam Kach. You don't have to wor- be worried someone's going to take advantage of this and make such a claim. Alabama, and Laos, it was true. Shem Haya Sone Osamitchila, because if he hated her in the first place, Lo Haya Toreach Besuda, he wouldn't go through all the bother of making the wedding meal, the consent, marrying her, and losing the whole thing for nothing, doing the whole thing for nothing. Rather, he would have divorced her in the first place, and so therefore we're not afraid that he's going to take advantage of the fact that we trust him to say, Pesach, Pasuach, Matzasi. And the Gemara continues, Tana was taught, who since this is a fine from the Chachamim, meaning since Ksuba is just a fine of the Chachamim, lo tigba elamin haziboris. So when she collects the Ksuba, she has to collect it from the worst of his land. Rashi over here says, elamin haziboris, in basa ligvos ksubas, if she's coming to collect her Ksuba, v'yesh lo idyas viziboris, ubeninis, and he has different kinds of property. He has the best property, he has the worst property, he has middle kind of property. She can't say, I want the best property or the medium property according to the value of my ksuba. And if he wants, he can get from the worst property as long as it is worth the value of the ksuba, and that is fine. The Gemara just questions over here, what does it mean over here when it says it's a kanas chachamim? Kenasa, the, the ksuba is a fine. My kenasa, in what way is it a fine? As Rashi over here says, Kilomar, my pasha, the kokansin a fine implies that the husband did something wrong and he has to pay a fine. So what does that mean? My kenasa, what kind of fine is it? And so the Gemara says, you're right, you have to change the text. Ela ema rather should say as, fa- as follows. Hoel v'takhanes chachamim, who since it is, it is an institution of the chachamim, meaning to say it's not doraisa, lo sigbelem and ziboris. So she has to collect from the word kind of property. Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel says, Ksubas Isha min HaTorah. It's not true. Ksubas Isha is actually a Doraisa Halacha. We're going to quote the Pasuk in a moment. And the Gemara says, Umi Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel, Hachi, does Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel really say that it's mi Doraisa? But we learned in a Braisa. The Braisa says, Kesef Yishkol Kemoar HaBesulos. It says, by the case of a, a mefata, Rashi says, by mefata nemar, by the case of a seducer, it says, so he, he has to take kesef, he has to pay kesef, the same amount that's given to besulos. So it has to be the same amount that's given to the virgins. Rashi over here says, meaning the same amount that a person pays when he rapes a besula. That's the same kenas over here. Nun kesef bishvil moar besula. It's 50 kesef. That is the amount that 50 kesef happens to be is also 200 dinar, so it's the same amount as the ksuba. And so that's why the Gemara says, so the Gemara now says, according to this Tana, when it says, Kesef Yishkol Kemoar HaBesulos, that it should be Kemoar HaBesulos, Umoar Besulos Kazan, the amount of the Besulos should be like this. Mikan Samcho Chachamim, from here the Chachamim, they relied on this to say, Lechsubas Isha Menator, the Ksubas Isha is really Mido Raisa. 
Rashi over here says, Kamara Hikish of Kanasa Mefata, Kanasa Onus. There's a comparison here between the fine by a seduction and the fine by rape. Malahalo nun afkanun, just like here it's fifty, so too there it's fifty. Umakesa Vormakan Shkolem, just like over here it's Shkolem. Tachsiv Yishkol, it says Yishkol, Aflahalan Shkolem, the Lotema Mos, don't say it's Mos. It means Shekel, it means to say fifty Shekel. Mikan Samchumi, the Kari Le Moar, and from the fact that it calls it the Moar Habesulos, so we learn out from here as well that this is the amount for the Ksubas Isha, so that's the first Tana over here in this Brisa, saying that it is a Do Raisa. That's Mikan Samcho Chachamim, Ksubas Isha Mena Torah. Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, Loma, Rabbi Shimon Gamliel says, no, Ksubas Isha ain't a Midivre Torah, El a Midivre Sofrim. Ksubas Isha is not a Do Raisa, it's only the Rabbanan. So here we have a contradiction. Rabbi Shimon Ben Gamliel above is quoted as saying the Ksubas is Do Raisa, and here Rabbi Shimon Ben Gamliel says explicitly that it's the Rabbanan. And so the Gemara says, Epoch, all you have to do is reverse this last Brisa, so just flip it around. Rabbi Shimon Gamliel is the one that says it's Do Raisa. Why should you flip around this last b'risa? Maybe flip the first one. And the Gemara says, no, we have another source. We have another another source where we've heard Rabbi Shimon Gamliel say that Ksubas Isha is do raisa. The Tanan, as we learned in the Mishnah, Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, Rabbi Shimon Gamliel says, no saying lomi mos kaputkia. When you pay the Ksubas, it has to be from the money of kaputkia. Rashi over here says, no saying lomi mos kaputkia. But Perak Basra Tanan, no saying Isha Bertis Sroll, Girsha be kaputkia. Let's say he marries her in Eretz Yisrael, divorces her in kaputkia. No sin lo mi mos Eretz Yisrael shein kalos. Then he gives from the money of Eretz Yisrael. No sin she be kaputkia ve girsha be Eretz Yisrael. Let's say the other way around. He marries her in kaputkia, divorces her in Eretz Yisrael. No sin lo mi mos Eretz Yisrael. He gives her again from the money of Eretz Yisrael. Minyan hakasu bechsuva does lina lekula. The point according to the first time is you always are lenient about it. So the mos Eretz Yisrael is the more lenient. Rav Shem Ben Gamliel Omer no sin lo mi mos kaputkia shen ishtabed bohen. Rav Shem Ben Gamliel says. No, the Shebud falls, the lien is, is acquired on the money of Kaputkia, Kishar Milva, just like any other loan. The Kasavar Ksuba Do Raisa, because he happens to hold that the Ksuba is going to be a Do Raisa. And so therefore you see the Shebud, again, the, the Ksuba is going to be a Do Raisa. That's the source for Kaputkia, according to Shem Mengam Lil. And the Gemara continues, we by saying, if you want, I could say another answer. Cooler Rav Shem Ben Gamliel. He that brisa really that we read above. It's all really Rav Shem Ben Gamliel. The Chisurei Mechz Rav Achikatani. There are words missing in the brisa. It should read as follows: Mikan Samchu Chacham Lechsubas Isha Min Hatora. From here, from this pasuk of the word Moar Habesulos, we understand that Ksubas Isha is Mido Raisa. Ksubas Almana Ena Midivre Torah. But the Ksub of a widow is not Mido Raisa. El Midivre So. From that's only Midivre So. From it's only Midra Bonan. Shereb and Shimon Ben Gamliel Omer Ksubas Almana. Because Rabbi Shimon Gamliel says it's the Ksubas Almana that is not Mido Raisa, it's only Mido Rabbanan. In any case, according to this amended version of the Brisa, Rabbi Shimon Gamliel was talking about Ksubas Almana when he said it was the Rabbanan, but the Ksuba of Abisula would be Do Raisa. And the Gemara continues, There was an individual who came in front of Rav Nachman, and Amar said to him, Pesach Pasuch Matsasi, I found that her door was open. Again, I found that she was not a Basula. Amar Leir of Nachman, so Rav Nachman said to him, Azvu Kufre Mevarachta Chavitale. He said, You have to give him lashes with palm branches. Obviously, this person is accustomed, is common to have prostitutes around him. Rashi over here says, Azvu Kufre, Hilku Malkios Bemalkos Charoyo Sheldakal. You got to give him lashes with these palm branches. Sheyesh Ben Uksin, that they have thorns. Kemokotsin, Keraminim Besuk of Emo Kufre Derachi Derachadar Chinom Ksiv. Mevarchasa Chavitale. And again, he has Zonos around him. Zonos, Hoyer Azos, Shashma Mevarchasa. The prostitutes of this city, that's what they refer to as Mevarchasa. Chavutos, Veshoch, was Tom in the front of, they must always be by him. Liznus, Verznus, Meachashu Baki, Pesach Basuach. How else is he such an expert at Pesach Basuach? So that's why Rav Nachman said, in this case, because he said Pesach Basuach Masasi, he's deserving of lashes. And so the Gemara says one second, Varav Nachman, who Dhamr Mehemin, Varav Nachman was the one that says that we believe a person when he says Pesach Basuach Matsasi. So first the Gemara answers, yes, Mehemin, he is believed, and we also give him lashes. Rav Achoy Mishani, Rav Achoy gives a different answer. No, it depends who it is. Kan Bebacher, in one case we're talking about a young, unmarried man, he was meaning unmarried previously, and Kan Benoso, in the other case we're talking about somebody who was married, so it makes sense that he would be able to recognize Pesach Pasuach. Rashi says, Bacher lo Mehemin, when it comes to a young man, he's not believed. Umasvin le Kofri al Shemei is part of and therefore we give him lashes because he was so brazen to say this. Nasi Mehemin, but somebody who was previously married, he is believed, but Loma Svin le Kufri, and we're not going to give him lashes. And the Gemara continues, Ahu Dasa Lakami de Rebbe Gamliel. There was an individual who came in front of Rebbe Gamliel. Amar Lei said to him, Pesach Pasuach Matsasi. Again, I found the door open. Amar Lei said to him, Shemahitisa, maybe you had the relations at an angle, and again, that's why it seemed to be open. 
And the Gemara continues, He said, I'm going to give you a mashal, what it's compared to. A person is walking at night and it's dark. If he angles himself, it comes out that the door is open. But if he doesn't enter at an angle, he finds that it's closed. Ego de Amri, there are some have a slightly different version. Hachi Amrle, here's what Rebbe Gamliel said to him. Shema bemezid hiti. So maybe what happened was on purpose you angled yourself. V'yakart ladosh v'yavren. Thereby you uprooted the door and the bolt. Emshol lach mashol lemahad dover domen. I'll give you a, a mashol what it's compared to. La adam shul mahalech bishon laila vafela. A person is walking at dark at night and it's dark. Hita bemezid if he purposely angles himself. Mitzvah pasuach. Then it comes out that it's open. Lo hita bemezid. But if he doesn't do that on purpose, if he doesn't angle on purpose. But so no, then it comes out that it's locked. Rashi over here says, Hita Kashigiel a Pesach base, so he gets to the door of his house, Hasogar, which is closed. There's something stopping it from opening. So let's do the Niftach, but when he does it at an angle, so then it opens up. That's the Mashal. Ika Diamri, some have a slightly different version. Below Miskavin, if the person doesn't angle intentionally, it's not going to be common that that's going to work. We don't say maybe it happened by mistake. But rather, what he asked him was as follows. He said, Shema Bemezidi Tisa. Maybe you purposely. Purposely did it at an angle. The Akarta Ladesh of Avra, and thereby you undid the door and the bolt. Akarta Hadelas Vabriach. Again, you undid, you uprooted the door and the bolt in that fashion. And the Gemara continues. There was an individual who came in front of Rebbe Gamliel, Bar Rebbe, Rebbe Gamliel. We're talking about Rebbe Gamliel, the son of Rebbe. Amar Lay said to him, Rebbe Baalti Vilomatsasi Dami. He said, Rebbe, I had relations and I didn't find any blood. Amrlo, so she said to him, Rebbe Basula, he see, Rebbe, I am a Basula, I'm a virgin. Amar Lahami said to them, Haviu li oso suda, bring me that cloth that you used. Haviu lo asuda, they brought the cloth, Visharu bimayim, they soaked it in water, Vichipsu, and they washed it. Umad sa olav kamati be damim, and they found upon it, he found upon it some drops of blood. Amar lo, so he said to him to the husband, Leich zichay bimechacha, go and uh, take your acquisition. In other words, it is proven here that she is a Basula, and there's no need to be concerned. Rashi over here says, Vichipsu. Rashi explains what was happening was the blood was covered up by the Sheikh Vazer, by the semen, and that's why it was difficult to discern. So when he when he washed it off, they were able to find the blood. And the Gemara continues, So Huna Marbre Durova from Parzaki said to Ravashi, Why don't we do that exact same thing? Why don't we wash the cloth and investigate? Amar Lay, so he said back to him, and we'll continue this discussion in the next video. And Dafiyud Amud Base.